I have a useless as PS or one Final Fantasy non strategy guide that tells me to go online to a website that doesn't exist anymore to get yep. the strategy. <laughs> I, have, I have that guide too. It's complete horse shit. Um, man, that guide, goddamn, you did. <laughs> Tyler and I took a look at that one not too long ago. It's it's so bad. The the, the Final Fantasy IX strategy guide that they put out oh, had man. That was no horrible. strategies in it. It had everything was like it, it set up what you're supposed to do, but oh. bef- but before it gave you the conclusion to what you you know the thing that you would very specifically want a strategy guide for. It would list like a little code that you were supposed to go to their play online website and punch in to give you, you know, the know last the few yeah. sentences not, of the paragraph they cut out in the Not guides. that specific strategy guy, but yeah, like after a while that became like a thing that uh, strategy guys did. Was, and, be, yeah, because no one could figure out how to make the internet work at this time. <laughs> right, because in this like day and age, this was still dial up. You know, so it yeah, still, yeah, it was actually probably being crossed over in the DSL, but the the point I, is, is I didn't spend a crap ton of money on a strategy guide just to go on a website to look up the code. Well, like, the, I mean, not, like no, nobody did, but that's just the thing. Like I, I'm, I'm baffled that strategy guides even get printed anymore. Like, really, who the fuck needs that? I. While I'm not about to make a fucking case, <laughs> you're probably going to mention something of collection purposes yeah, well, or something. Well, I have. That's the only I reason. always buy the World of Warcraft one because it's right. You're a fan, well, but, but that's going like, to clearly out. it doesn't. But it's not because I'm a fan. Like it's not that like they walk you through each individual quest of the game. Yeah, there's a lot of lore shit in there. That yeah, I like. no, yeah. You're right. There's <laughs> like, yeah. and, and that's the kind of stuff that they have to do to keep a strategy guide as a good value proposition <laughs> nowadays. Like I'll tell you this, I I buy strategy guides still for Capcom fighting games, even though I don't need the strategy or anything like that. Right, right. And fighting game strategy guides don't ever tell you shit anyways. It's just move lists that are already in the goddamn game. But <laughs> They used to. Yeah, used to. But uh, typically, yeah. uh, those the, the guides come out in, in hit store shelves maybe like a week or two before the game does. And I'm always so hungry for every little bit of oh, information. Yeah, okay. I'll just pick the guide up and like flip through it and just enjoy that like way like before the day game comes two out. As you wait for the release. You're like, yeah, yeah. And that's you. that's just that's just like a <laughs> habit that I never broke from being a little kid. Right. Uh, I got conned into buying the strategy guide for The Last of Us because the sales girl at GameStop was really cute. Um, it wasn't con. You were just like, okay, yeah, but yeah, like me. <laughs> she, got, she totally, she totally got me on that. I don't even think I've cracked the cover on that thing. I haven't even um, opened it once. No, like I used to, like I stopped doing the strategy guy thing because um, during my downtime, I would flip ahead. Yeah, and it ended up spoiling like, shit for myself. I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't even need to know that. <laughs> Which I think is wonderful because I bought Dark Souls One, Dark Souls Two, and the Bloodborne strategy guides. Not because I needed the strategy, but because they're basically just big ass like hardbound art books at this point. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> but in Tyler, you're never gonna get a word in edgewise if you don't be rude, man. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so I just have to say this tidbit. Okay. I have a strategy guy for Doom Two. <laughs> of course you do. Are there even pictures in it? The mat itself. <laughs> Like, no, all right, no, so I, I, I haven't. I have it, was a, a, it was a friend that I knew. He's I have all the way in uh, fat Arkansas, fucking so. stack of strategy guides out there, man. I have a bunch of them. I I just never got rid of them. And also, when I when I worked at GameStop, at the every couple of months or so, they would just throw those in the trash. Oh, so you or just, you could buy them for a penny. So I would. Whatever, I don't have this game, but a penny? Why the fuck not? <laughs> like, here's a dollar. Give me all hundred of them, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I would well. totally do that, right? right? Just get a bunch of guides. No, I love and then, the fact that he had the Doom 2 uh, strategy guide for the map. Follow the bad guys. Or, you know, hit the button that overlays the map <laughs> on the game screen. No, 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 it doesn't fulfill the whole map. Like, it has the secret areas and stuff and stuff like that. Oh, right. Is this Is this one of those, like... Like not official guides. It's yeah. like one of those like official the the official unofficial how yeah. to be good at it's Doom a, Two. Yeah, it's and like it, like no. the cover art is like just some guys like clip art. Oh no no no! Actually, it's got the picture the logo of Doom Two. It's got like the, you know the uh, uh, the the cyber demon with his guns. <laughs> I, 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 I I know I know I know the kind of guides that you're talking about. Like I, it's a book. It's like. 
Yeah, but you know, it, yeah. Book size, but I'll right, tell you, yeah. Uh, oh gosh, the shit you used to buy like the book fair. Yeah, was cool. <laughs> like, <laughs> like how to win at Mario. <laughs> play. Now, yeah. I, now I only got that for like kicks and giggles. Actually, my my first uh, my first strategy guide that I, I ever owned was A Link to the Past for the Game Boy Advance. It was also with the Four Swords. Actually, oh right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Right. those one always messed me up too because I didn't actually get the Fire Emblem one because damn, that game got hard for there for a minute. But like the strategy guide is actually bigger than the device that you're playing. The game <laughs> on, you know? So it becomes less portable when you're like really one knee in the strategy guide. Carry one. that around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was actually my first strategy guide that I got. Oh, okay. Do you know what? They package really weird DLC and strategy guides now too. Like a lot of strategy guides you buy will have a code in the back that you can literally own. Like you can never buy that shit. Like it oh, never becomes available. Like, like just, weapon skins. Yeah, and like, like it just that. has like yeah. shit in there. I mean, like I said, man, you got to do whatever you can to make a strategy guide a good value proposition. Yeah. Now, people because... that work at Brady Games still got bills to pay. Because uh, <laughs> 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 time DLC in sell shit. Especially if you never make that DLC available in any other way. Just well, like... yeah, that's how that's how they sold like those fucking super expensive World of Warcraft plushies because they just. <laughs> Put a code for a mount on the tag. Let me tell you.